the, so you we know, were talking about the, they did the, the, uh, the lobectomy. Yeah. And uh, they moved the bone flap. Correct. That's about a week after. Yes. What's the next couple of weeks like? Well, um, the next couple of weeks were just kind of just still waiting to see, you know, what what was going to happen. I mean, she finally did open her eyes, um, but, she, you know, she couldn't communicate. Well, you know what I did? She did start blinking her eyes. She did kind of start communicating that way. She did. Um, Before they removed the medication? No. That, that was after. That was after. She also had another thing happen, too, which... Um, I didn't really realize it at the time. I found out later on. But sometimes, when your brain when it swells so much, they actually they cut her from you know right under her breastbone down, all the way down to right. You know. So she has this big, huge, long like uh, slit in her stomach, and it was basically it's something that they do to relieve pressure. <laughs> so the whole thing was just. Uh, even now when I think about it, I can't believe I lived through it because it's just so, you're just kind of like a zombie walking around. And and every you cannot make really any decisions on your own. You're totally relying on these people, these experts that have dealt with this to, you know, the hoping and praying that they're doing the best thing because you are clueless. You don't know. You know, you, you don't know anything about it. And your first few hours are shocked. The drive to the hospital is yeah. shocked. Yeah. When does the realization that something really bad has happened to start to get in there? <laughs> That's a good question. Sometimes I still can't, don't realize it. I mean, you know, I'll wake up and go, oh, you know, it, it's still really hard to believe. Just, Your daughter just is just, how old on the day of the accident? She was 29. Her date of birth is what? 5-25-1980. Yes. How many children? I have uh, two sons. I have a son that's 27 and another one that's 23. And you're married? Yes. How long have you been married? For this year, it'll be 34 years. And you've been married to their father? Yes. The yeah. And your husband is with you when you drive down to the hospital? Yes. And my one son happened to be with us. And do you have a job at this time? Yes. What did you do for a living? I'm a real estate agent. And your husband? He worked as a, a shipping and receiving person for a local company here. What day of the week is this? This is a Tuesday. So you're normally going to be at work the next morning as it's he? Mm-hmm. Neither of you go to work? No. Does he go back to work at some point over the next few weeks and you start to be the one? stays at the hospital or? No. Neither one of us to this day has gone back to work. We both of us were not able to, I mean, you can't even think about work and you don't care. <laughs> you know, you just really have, you just, you just can't do it. At least both of us were like that. So nothing about your life has gone back to normal? Oh, no. No. I mean, we're, we're like on this mission to get our daughter as, as much as we can get back. You are old. I'm 56. Your husband about the same age. Yeah, he's a couple years. He's 58. 